May the peace of Christ be with you. My dear friends in Christ, everyone is searching for happiness, but many people say that there is happiness in each person. Yes, because of the presence of God in each and every one of us. Today, Jesus gives us the three ways we can arrive at being happy. Because Jesus himself is actually the happiness that we are searching for. Those three ways are deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. The word self is a very complicated word. Because when you look at that word self, you see that there are so many schools of thought, psychological, philosophical, theological, and so many uh, uh, disciplines in humanities try to define the self. But I want to go with this lexical meaning that the self is a person's essential distinguishing you know, factor or that which distinguishes someone from the other. You can look at it as temperament, as I'm going to explain. But the fact is this, that the self is an individual person and every individual person is unique from the other person. So the, my perspective of a certain reality may not be your own perspective of certain, certain reality. But the fact is that we have a fundamental problem and the fundamental problem is that our self has been wounded from the beginning. And that's the connection we have together with the, in the context of the original sin. But in the context of what Jesus said today, let's look at the self in three basic ways. The first one is our wounded nature. The self that Jesus used today refers to our wounded nature that is marked with you know, the reality of concupiscence. The second aspect of this self is basically our you know, unmodified temperament. Because the self also refers to the temperaments. Then the third one is our irrational will. And this irrational will that we have is associated to you know, our cravings, our passions, our feelings, our emotions, our desires. And these desires and longings are usually also associated to things like sex, things like uh, gluttony, that's eating, uh, drinking, uh, things like revenge, retaliation, and all those things that are associated also to our personal ego. Jesus' invitation to us today is very simple, and the simple invitation is that we should learn to say no to the excesses of ourselves. Now, how can we say no when we are not fortified? How can we say no when we are not reinvigorated? How can we say no when we don't have Jesus as the center of our life? Which means that we need the grace of God. In the words of St. Augustine, we cannot overcome our wounded nature by ourselves, but we need the grace of God. So the first thing that Jesus invites us to do is that openness, the openness to, you know, to, to accept and to welcome that grace coming from God. And that's why he began by saying, if you, which means that it's a choice. You have to choose either to accept this grace or to reject this grace. Now, coming to the, the, to the, the, the reality of the denier, we have to say no. You know, there are times that uh, our body wants something, wants the other feeling, emotions to be satisfied. We have to learn how to say no to them. See, I want to tell you, in this life, you don't need to say yes to everything that your body craves for or anything that your body says, I want this, or everything that yourself say, I want this, I want this. No, you have to learn to say no. No one achieves happiness by saying yes to everything that passes by. Sometimes we have to say no in order to have that happiness. So the invitation today is for us to be in control of our yes or no. In the moments we must say yes, we must say yes. In the moments we must say no, we must say no. But we should not allow, you know, our, you know, self to be in total control of whatever we say but we should allow that grace of god in us that you know illumined rationality to guide us in the choices that we make every day the second aspect of this self-denial is what we call enthronement and dethronement the longest battle in the world is the battle between divine will and the human will so to say you know self-denial is basically the dethronement of the human will and the enthronement of divine will which means that to enthrone the divine will in our lives basically means that we put god at the center of our lives we allow god to be the chief influencer of our thoughts our words our actions and our relationships that's what it means really to enthrone god in our lives the other aspect of this self-denial which jesus invites us to embrace is what we call self-control 
you know, we have to know ourselves. For us to control ourselves, we have to have that knowledge, self-knowledge of ourselves. And that's why this morning I, I try to reflect basically on self-evaluation, self-knowledge, self-discipline and all that. So there's this need, a basic need for self-knowledge. Because if you don't know yourself, you may not even know when to checkmate yourself or when to control yourself. The other aspect of this self-denial is what we call self-nurturing. So we really have to fortify our we have to nurture ourselves with the word of God, with the sacraments, you know, with charity. There are so many ways that you know, by listening to God through prayers, there are so many ways we fortify ourselves. We shall continue the second part to happiness in the next episode. God bless you.